Hello English learners. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today I have another lesson on everyday idioms that are commonly used by British, American and Australian English speakers. The idioms I'm going to teach you today are the other half of the idioms that I used in this lesson here in the introduction. So if you haven't seen that video, I suggest checking it out after this lesson. So let's go. I don't want to be accused of beating around the bush. The first idiom for today is in the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. If you say or do something in the heat of the moment, it means that you say or do something without really thinking because you are very angry or very excited. An example, he didn't mean what he said. He said it in the heat of the moment. What this means is uh, some context, maybe a couple are having an argument and one of them says something to the other one that they later regret. They wouldn't normally say something so mean or so rude. They said it in the heat of the moment when they were angry. Another one, Sarah threatened to resign in the heat of the moment. To resign means to quit your job. So maybe something annoyed Sarah at her workplace and she told her boss, that's it, I'm going to quit. But later, when she had cooled down and thought more clearly, she realized that quitting her job was not such a good idea. That's the heat of the moment. Making hasty decisions that you may later regret. The next one, off one's rocker. This is slang and very informal for crazy or strange. I hope you don't think I'm off my rocker. This just means I hope you don't think I'm crazy. The origin of this idiom is about when people in America would sit around on the porch and they'd have a few drinks and a chat, maybe sing some songs and many people would be sitting in rocking chairs. And sometimes, as you do, somebody would drink too much and fall off their rocking chair. So that's the idea there. An example, there was a guy off his rocker on the bus the other day, talking to himself. Have you got any fresh worms? Have you got any fresh worms? There are some variations of this. You can also say he's off his nut. This could also mean the person is on drugs or off his trolley. The same thing. All three idiomatic expressions mean crazy, strange, or that the person is more than likely on drugs. These are used fairly regularly, but remember they are very informal. Okay at the pub, not so good in the office. The next one, there's a method in my madness. This one's actually from Shakespeare's Hamlet, and the actual line was, though this may be madness, yet there is method in it. And I actually like that original line better. I might start using that instead of the latter. In any case, the meaning is the same and is a purpose in doing something that may seem a little crazy. You are doing something that may seem crazy to other people, but you have a good reason for doing it. There is method in your madness. For example, when she's painting, she looks like she is a crazy woman, but in the end, you see there was a method in her madness. Another example, at the start of his speech, everybody thought he was out of his mind, but at the end of the speech, everything made sense. So there was a method to his madness. I also used this idiom in my last video um, on idioms straight after the introduction. So that is another example of how to use this in a sentence. And I'll link to that in the description underneath this video lesson. The next one, the cat's out of the bag. This means to allow a secret to be known, usually without intending to. For example, I was trying to keep the party a secret, but Johnny went and let the cat out of the bag. Johnny's got a big mouth and told the secret. It's not a secret anymore. Good one, Johnny. Another one. She let the cat out of the bag and finally told her parents she's not getting married. Apparently, the origin of this phrase is from the 16th century when people would buy piglets, that's baby pigs, from a market and they were sold in bags. And sometimes the seller would substitute the piglet for a cat 
and when the person got home and opened the bag, the trick would be revealed. The truth would be known. Which makes sense, doesn't it? That today it is used to mean that the secret is out. All right, so that is now all of the idioms that are used in everyday idioms used by Brits, Americans, and Australians, which is basically uh, part one to this lesson. So I suggest watching that now if you would like some more very common idioms. To practice using these idioms, and if you want to know whether you're using them correctly or not. My advice, you should take advantage of your access here to a free English teacher and write some examples in the comments section and I'll respond to as many as I can. That's it for today. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and most importantly, I wish you all the best with your English goals and life goals. Cheers.